Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Friday after Ash Wednesday. And as you can tell, it's Ash Wednesday today when I'm recording this. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we... And the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, kind of an interesting verse to think about during uh, this time of Lent, because one of the things that we do in Lent is fast. And so here we have uh, the disciples of John the Baptist who follow after all of the fasting rules of the Old Covenant, as do the Pharisees. And yet Jesus' disciples are not necessarily conforming uh, to the fasts that are prescribed for Israel. And so one of the things that's interesting about that is that they would be listening and uh, adhering to the teaching of their rabbi, who is Jesus. And so Jesus is having them live with a different set of rigor. And so they're asking Jesus about this. Why don't they fast? Why don't you have your disciples fast as we do and as the Pharisees do? And Jesus answered, uh, answered them in a very interesting way. He basically talked about the, the idea of what fasting indicates. Fasting is a sign of mourning. Fasting is a sign of uh, something being lost or something needing to be found. And for them, they found the bridegroom. In other words, it's, it's kind of like Jesus said, my disciples are a part of a wedding party, a part of a bridal party. And so the wedding party would basically go and uh, bring the, the bride to the bridegroom. There'd be great celebration. The bridegroom is here, and he's going to go get his bride and bring her to his house. And so there is this great time of, of celebration. And so my disciples are a part of this great time of of uh, revelry, of celebrating. But there will come a time when they will fast, and that is when the bridegroom is taken away. So as we know, uh, the bridegroom was taken away at the time of the passion, death, resurrection, and ascension. And he was taken away, and at that time, uh, there was fasting that was appropriate. And so that's why we look today and realize that even in uh, our current situation that fasting is very appropriate for us in this day that we too are wanting and looking for the bridegroom that is yet to come and so we are preparing ourselves for the bridegroom he's not yet here if when he comes then that's the time of celebration so uh this is an interesting scripture again during Lent, but one that we can understand more perfectly and completely on the other side of the passion of Jesus. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, is there a good takeaway for us today? I think the big takeaway that I see is... Um, uh, the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. One of the things that we do in our fasting, it is a means through which we are able to prepare ourselves for the bridegroom to come to us. And so we're preparing not just our souls, but our bodies. We're, our fasting is a way of saying no to certain prerogatives, no to certain passions, no to certain tastes and desires. Uh, yes, we might uh, use fasting as a means to uh, curb our appetite, but we don't do it as a diet. We do it because we are wanting our body to know that they are not the most important thing. 
that our souls need to be fed, to be encouraged, to be nurtured, because it is our soul that will be truly one day wed to Christ in a new and dynamic way. So the bridegroom is is not with us. He is, uh, well, he's with us, but yet he's not with us. You know what I mean. He's with us in the sacraments. He is with us in adoration. He is always with us in our hearts. But yet the totality of his coming, of the bridegroom coming to be united with the bride, is something yet to come. And that's what we fast for, that uniting, that time where we all will be one day united with Christ. So our fasting isn't just for ourselves. It's for the whole of the church and all of mankind that all of us might one day be united with him. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.